We open sports this month to look at the boys and girls varsity basketball team as they are both entering district play. The boys and girls team have both had the best of times and the worst of times in pre-district play this season. On the boys side, the Hawks have played near 500 ball as streaks have been the name of the game thus far. The Hawks have saw a string of five straight losses back in December, but have rebounded back at just the right time, winning a four game streak heading into district. The team has been led most of the season with sharp shooting by senior Casey Fitzgerald, with strong inside play by Zach Walker, Corey Houston, and freshman Cameron Hawkins. The defense has been a strong point for the Hawks, who have held most of the opponents around or under the 60 point mark. Coach Foster seems to be bringing the guys back together just as he always does at just the right time to make a push for back-to-back -back playoff years. The Hawks opened district on January 16th and lost a hard-fought road game against the Terrell Tigers. Casey Fitzgerald led the Hawks team in scoring, but the loss snapped the Hawks' win streak and made the upcoming game with Ennis important in early playoff races. The girls are also ready to make a run at the playoffs under the direction of first-year coach Veronica Reed. Coach Reed, Coach Zuniga, and Coach Henry seem to be really building a stronger basketball program. While the varsity has struggled in pre-district, the combination of young players and strong JV squad gives the Lady Hawks a glimpse of a bright future. The ladies will look to team leading scorer Amy Hafner along with the strong inside play from Deanna Smith, Amber Gregory, Emily Hollenbeck, and Katie Pryor. The outside game comes from Ryan Ford, Rebecca Milliken, Holly Ridgeway, and Brianna Pace. The girls jumped out to a great district start with a big win over Course Canada at home by the score of 35 to 19, before dropping a road game to the powerful Lancaster Lady Tigers, 40 to 29. The ladies bounced back and took a big win over Terrell at home, moving the Lady Hawks to two and one in district play. We will bring you more on a big night for Amy Hafner and Deanna Smith against Terrell, as well as results from the important matchup with Ennis on the road in next month's show.